Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I'm actually, this is a bit weird, I'm uh, coming to you with the puzzle for the 25th of January 2024, which is an average line Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Now, um, this is the, hopefully, the first video that you see in this um in this guess series, um, the this video that I'm releasing. Um, however, uh, this may not be the first video I record in this guess series because this is a puzzle that I may not be able to do. So I've actually recorded um, the video for the next couple of days already. Um, the, the videos for the next couple of days already because this is one that I am going to really struggle with. There is a chance I can't solve this one. The last time I did a puzzle like this, um, which was a guess one, I actually failed. I actually couldn't solve the puzzle at all. Like it, dinosaur time, no, I think I gave up at like 52 minutes and I'm not releasing a, a puzzle that I can't do that. Um, so I'm a little worried about this one. Um, and that I don't know what happens if I can't record a guess video, whether I'll get a guest solver to do it. So anyway, um, this puzzle, uh, it's the first one in the series. So of course, um, go check out the guest homepage and the guest YouTube channel links to that will be below. Um, and, um, I, this is the message that came with this one. Hello. Uh, this is of course, average line Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Um, hello. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I'm someone who's historically had an awful run of luck on birthdays from 28 hour blackouts to two hospitalizations to the bleakest one, which is a story I do not wish to tell. I'm very blessed to have someone in my life who now who now who thinks I deserve to be celebrated, which is very nice and not at all average, unlike today's average lines Sudoku. Then we get on to the rule. Um, if you get a dinosaur today, you get an encoded in Rixinator in That sounds familiar. Haven't we had one of those before? Okay, whatever. I I'm probably remembering wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to look at the puzzle. <laughs> Yay. I, okay. Yeah. Okay. So normal Sudoku rules apply, which as hopefully this will be the first video in the series, um, in every box, in every row, row, and in every column, the digit one to nine must be placed without repetition. And digits in circles are the average of the rest of the digits along that line. So whenever you have a circle digit, the other two digits, the average of those goes in the circle. Now, average of the rest of the digit. So it's not the average of all of the digit. So you do not include, I believe, the circle digit in the average. So whatever goes in these, you divide those, so the sum of those by two and put it there. Or this is, so if you double this digit, then it will go there. If this was a three cell long line apart from this, then triple that digit will be the sum of those sort of thing. So in here, for example, um, these are four times what is in that digit. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So there's a gimme here, which is these sum to four. This is two times four. So that is two. Oh, sorry, this is four divided by two because there's two of them. These sum to 16. 16 divided by two because there's two digits. This is an eight. Now, the other digits in here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9. Now, this can't be 4 because 4 times 4 would be 16, and I'm already at 13, and these can't be that low. Can't be 9. Basically, it can't be the highest digit because 9 times 4 is, what, 36, and I can't get these as high as 36, so this isn't a 9. But I think 6 and 7, they're both possible because I've got digits higher and digits lower, and the math there just... This this is the sort of thing that killed me last time. And I think I've got the same down here. These are one, two, three, four, five, and six. One here wouldn't work because these would have to sum to four and I'm already at seven. Six here wouldn't work because all of the digits would be lower than six. So it, it just wouldn't work. But I don't know that I can distinguish between three and four. And now I don't have any clue where to look. So the different color lines, by the way, apparent, yeah, different color lines are for distinguishing purposes. Maybe here, because these, these actually have to sum to 12. Yeah, hang on. These have to sum to 12 because it's six times two. Now I can't use eight 
four or seven five or six six because six six doesn't work for many reasons so surely these have to be nine three because they're the only ways of doing it three plus uh, nine because you want to start close to the 12 as possible nine plus three eight plus four doesn't work seven plus five and then six plus six is a double so this is nine three and i know the order nine and three can i do these now well i can't use nine three i could use eight four i can't use seven five and i can't use six six so this is eight four so I know these three digits, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. So can I figure this out? Not really, because this has to be, the sum of this line must be even, because this has to be the average of it. And if this was odd, this would be something and a half, but I've got all odd digits here. So for example, if this, or oh, this can't be three, seven, because this would have to be five. So there must be a nine on this. If this is nine, three, this is six because it's 12. And if, so this is six or eight is what I'm learning. The nine must be here. So there's no nine here. And I've got another triple here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But it's the same thing. I can't put an even digit here. Because if I put an even digit here, then this would be something and a half. So this is one five, this is the four, this sums to six, this is the three, which takes the three out of there. That's very cool. Doesn't help me much though, but maybe I can do the same down here. These have to sum to eight, which may not work here, but it does work here, I think. Because this could be one seven, can't be two six, can't be three five, can't be four four. So this is one seven. This seven looks across making this the one and this the seven. This one so far is better than the last one. I don't even remember when it was. It was way, way early. This is one seven. Which means this maybe. So I can't use one seven. Two six, I can't use three five. So this is two six. And now I've got a couple of triples. So one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are five, six, and nine. But I can't put an even and an odd digit on here because then this would be something and a half. So there's no six here. This is the six. Five and nine is 14. That becomes the seven and the seven comes out of here. Again, I'm not treating this like a gas puzzle because I think I break my brain. Ah, the one here, of course, makes this the five and this the one. Can I resolve this to six? Not sure, but I've got another triple here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, three, seven. There's no one here. So what can I tell about these? So if this is one, three, then this is a two. If this is one, seven, this is a four. And if it's three, seven, this is a five. This can't be three, seven. There must be a one on it and it must be there. And, and this is two or four. So that means there's a one right there by Sudoku. Which means there's a one in one of those two. It means there's a one right there by Sudoku. which means that is a one. So there is a one on this line. So if this is already eight, and this can't have, this can't have an odd total. So at eight, I can't add an odd digit to it. So if this is eight plus four, it's 12, 12 divided by four is three. And if this is one, if this is 12 plus six, this is 18, which doesn't divide cleanly by four, four times four is 16. And I can't get this to 16. This is the three, which means these have to sum to 12. I'm at eight. So this is the four and this is the six, which means this is the eight and this is the four. I'm hoping that math works. 
9, 10, 12, 12 divided by 4, 12 divided by 2 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. I think that's correct. The 4 here makes this 2, which means this has to be 1, 3. This becomes the 7. Taking 7 out of there, there's no 3 there. The 9 comes out of both of those. Three is in one of those two. What is this triple? One, two, three, four, five, six, three, eight, nine. Well, there's no three or eight there. That's a nine. So there's no nine there. This is a three, eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five and nine. And I know the order, nine and five. This is just the nine by Sudoku. So these, oh, this is much harder, these sum, for me at least, these sum to 17 plus 5, it's 22. So this can't be an odd number. So 4, 6 means this is the 7. I should have done it that way down here probably. So 7 times 4, 7 times 2 is 14 times 2 is 28. I need to get to 28. These have to sum to 20. So these have to sum to 11. So that's the 6 and that's the 4. The 6 looks over making this the 8. These have to sum to 16. So it's 9 and 7. This becomes the 3. This is a triple, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's no 7 or 1 there. That's the 2 and the 2 comes out of those. This is a 1, 7. The 1 looks up making that the 7 and that the 1. This is 1, 2 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, the 5 looks up making that the 2 and that the 5. This is not a gas puzzle for me. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight, and there's an 8, so that's a 2, and that's an 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's no 7 there. There's no 6 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's no 8 in either of those. That's an 8. This is a 4, 6. Um, the 6 looks down, making that the 2, and that the 6. Okay. So, column 5. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's no five there. So four, six pair, this is a five. So these sum to 10. Now they're not one, nine, they're not two, eight. If they're three, seven, no, I can't put three in either of them. So these are four and six. And that four means that's the six, that's the four, that's the six, that's the four. That's the six, that's the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and seven and nine go into those. So one, two, and three go into those, and I know the order. The six, of course, makes this the nine, taking nine out of those. So this is seven and six. The nine looks back making five and nine, which makes seven and nine. One, two, three, four. So I'll use the four to make three and four four, which means eight and three. I need to put a two in, which goes there. And this needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six. This is an eight. And that is the solution in 10 minutes and 24 seconds. Now I'm way over the two hat time, but I'm actually really happy to get a hat at all. I'm actually really happy to solve that at all. It was a fascinating puzzle, um, and it was. It was a puzzle. That is a puzzle. I, I, I mean, I love the puzzle um, because for me that is a challenge. The biggest challenge for me is trying to present it in a way that I don't look like an idiot, because it's it's just way beyond me. So I'm trying to. What I'm trying to do with these puzzles is to demonstrate here is the cool logic, and I, I'm, when I'm when I'm bad at a type of puzzle. I feel I fail at that, and I, I yeah, and front-loading my videos with those is like, yay! Um, 
on to tomorrow's puzzle. Recording out of order, I'm recording out of order. This puzzle recorded from the one you saw before. Da. Hi. Um, so this is the puzzle for the 26th of January, 2024. And it's a call... Category 3 by Philip Newman. Um, and the message is, today's guess is a classic Sudoku. And that's it. Normal Sudoku rules apply. And that's it. And if you get a dinosaur today, you get a Geogesson Ganditian. And yeah, I occasionally play Geogesser. Um, and I've never done it on this channel. I've just streamed it on Discord and stuff. Geogesser is a bit of fun. The way I play it is really, really basic. Because I am bad at it. Like, really, 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 really bad really really bad um i'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer let's give this a shot now this looks like a puzzle that's got lots of naked singles in it and i don't know where to look so this can't be one two three four five six seven this is an eight or a nine um and that's because of all of these digits um but hmm oh that's just a four so these are six seven eight nine so this is an eight nine pair so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is an eight, nine pair. So this is a six, seven pair. And I know the order six and seven. Can I do the same? This is one, two, three, four, five. So this is six, seven, eight. Uh, because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are six, seven, eight. So this is the seven. So I can take the seven out of those. So these become one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, these are one and two, which is interesting. Um, that's really interesting. That's actually cool because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, and six, and there's no six in those. So this is the six. The one and the two may not be resolved, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three and four, and I know the order, the four and the three. What about these? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are two, three, four, and that means that's the three, and this is the two, four. That's really weird. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, these are eight and nine. That's a really weird framing of this puzzle. Like, really weird. Nine is in one of those two. Eight is in one of those two. And the rest are one and two. Oh, this is a two nine pair. So this is a one eight pair, which puts one right here. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's five now. So this is six and seven. This is weird. I love it. One, two, three, four is right here. So this is five, six, seven. And there's no six here. So this is the six which means that's the seven, that's the six. The seven looks like making that the five and that the seven. This is really cool. So I'm tempted to jump to this corner, which I think is going to be wrong. Uh, three is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. Five, no, this is a four, six pair. So this is a three, five pair. And the four and the six are resolved. That's the four, that's the six. No, this, mm, one, two, I could have put three. No, that's now a four. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three, five, nine. There's no three there. Oh, the six made this an eight, and this is six. This is not a nine. This is not a five. I'm looking in the wrong place. One is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is one eight, and this is two nine. I'm definitely doing this wrong, but that's... This is weird. I like it. This is, this might be the most fun classic Sudoku I've done in ages. Five is in one of those two, because of the five looking in from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is right there. So this is just a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, nine. And there's no five there.
up here, it's one, two, three, five. So that's the three, and this is one, two, five. There's no five there. I am really not grokking this, which, but this is fun. Oh, this four looks back, making that the two and that the four. So this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, three, nine. This is one, three, nine. There's no three there. Now this is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, seven, nine. There's no seven there. So this is the seven. This is a five, nine pair. This is a five, eight, nine triple. So this is the two. This is the one. This is the two, which looks up taking two out of there. Five, eight, nine, triple. This triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, three, five, eight. There's no three there. Have I got this wrong? Two, nine is looking down. So this is the five, this is the three, this is the five. The five looks in making this the nine, which takes nine out of both of those. This is the one, this is the three, this is the nine, this is the three, taking three out of there, this becomes a five, eight pair. But the one looks up, taking one out of both of those. This is two, this is five, this is one. The five looks down, making this eight and this five. The eight looks up, making this nine and this eight. The eight looks down, taking eight out of there. Um... The five makes that the nine, which makes that the eight and that the five. The eight looks across, making that the one and that the eight. The one looks across. That was just a scanning fail on my part. But this was incredibly fun. Um, as says was, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, the one looks across, making this eight and this one. The eight looks back, making this nine and this eight. And the nine looks back, making this two and this nine. Six minutes, 21. Now, the time I was expected to solve it in was five minutes. So I sucked. <laughs> I did this really badly. But I had a lot of fun finding that frame, and then I just scanned badly. Yeah, five minutes. This is created for and by and for people who are amazingly stunning at classic Sudoku scanning. Um, yeah, that's the club, um, and I'm not part of it. But really, gr this is one of the nicest um, easy classics, um, and it is. It's an easy classic that I've done in ages. Um, I've actually been um, helping some people who are new to Sudoku a bit recently, and the only puzzles that they find welcoming are actually the New York Times puzzles. So they do the New York Times easies and sometimes the mediums every day, because while I point them at things like these puzzles and um, some of the others, they don't find them welcoming at all. They, they just don't. Um, they just say way too often the puzzles are not for them. They, they just, they can't comprehend them and they do not find them welcoming. So they just do the New York Times puzzles. And unfortunately, most of the time, those puzzles are not nice, but they, they are welcoming. People find them comforting because they know what they're going to get. With these, that's not the case. So people don't use them to join the community because these puzzles are not welcoming um, and they're not comforting and people just do not feel <laughs> welcoming is the right word. They don't feel like they're part of the community. Um, and um, there is no, uh, this puzzle, however, would be one I could definitely, I, I think they would absolutely adore, but that's one, in, that, that's a, that's a drop in the bucket, but I will be definitely be bringing this to them because this one is stunning. Um, on to tomorrow's puzzle. And now the guess for the 27th of January 2024, which is a quadruples Sudoku by Clover. Here's the message that came with it. So my friend had quadruples the other day after a challenging pregnancy. She named them Eenie, Meenie, Miney, and Rodney. Rodney, I asked. Surely you should have called the last one Mo. No way, she replied. After all that, I don't want no Mo. Today's guess is a quadruples, a quadruples Sudoku. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a dead diceratops. So I'm switching to the puzzle. 
so quadruple Sudoku. So as well as normal Sudoku rules, um, the digits in a white circle must appear somewhere in the four cells surrounding that circle. So that's the way it works. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Three must be in one of those two, but it must also be in one of those two. So that must be the three. These are, well, this is now the four. This is a one, two pair. So this is a seven, eight pair. This is three, four, this is a five, six pair. So this right here is a nine. So these are one, two, and three. Um, three, however, is in here, so it's not here. Uh, this is three, four, and this is seven, nine. So this is eight, this is seven. Uh, three is in one of those two because it can't be in one of those two. Now, I can't put both one and two in here. Five is in one of those two. Ah, this is a five, six pair because five and six are around here, but the five, six looks down. So this is three, four, but three has to be there. So this is three, this is four. Okay, three, four. So four is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. I'm probably jumping around the wrong way. So this is not two or three. This is the one, which means this is the two. This is the three which means that's the four and that's the three. Um, two, three, so five is in one of those two. Two, three, five, nine. Three is in one of, uh, three is right here, so this is five. This is two and nine. Now, two is in one of those two, but it can't be there because I. Um, if it was here, this would be nine, this would be one. Well, basically, two is here and two is here in this row. So this can't be the two. This is the two. Um, basically, two in this box is not here, not here. So it has to be here in this box, but it had to be one of these two. So these are one, six, and seven. There's no one in those. So this is the one. Uh, this is the six. This is the seven by Sudoku. One, two, three, four, and eight. So this is the four and this is the eight. So this is three, this is the three, this is a six, seven pair, but the seven has to be around here. So this is the seven, this is the six. This by Sudoku is just five. This one makes this the two and this the one, which makes this the nine and this the two. The five makes this the six and this the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four and eight go into those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine go into those. There's no six there. There's no seven there. But seven here means seven is in one of those two, which looks like making that the nine, that the six. So that is the seven. These are one, two, and eight. There's no two there. Eight, this is a seven, eight pair um, because eight can't be in those or those so it has to be in those two so that's not the four and that's the four which means that's the eight and that's the four which means that's not the eight this is the two which looks like making this the one and takes one out of those which means this is the eight and this is the two the seven looks across making this the nine and this the seven these are one two three one and five so the five makes this the one and this the five now, this two, three, three is in one of those two. Two, well, this is a two, four pair. So this is the three, this is the seven. I can remove the corner marks out of there, but the four, of course, makes this the two and this the four. Now, these are one, two, and five, and there's no two there. So this is the two, and the five makes this the one and this the five. And I'm almost done with the quadruple clues. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and eight go in. So this is the eight, and this is the six. In here, I've got to put a three, which is not there or there. So three is in one of those two. Four is in one of those two. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, and nine. So I've got nine and five. So these are three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, and five. So this is five, this is four, this is three. This gives me triples here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, six, nine. And there's no six there. There's no, oh, there's no four in either of those. So this is nine, six, and four. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight, and I know the order, eight and seven. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one and nine, and I know the order, one and nine. Now, this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, eight, nine. There's no eight or five there. That's the nine. Nine comes out of those. So five, no, that's not it. This is though, one, two, three. So this is one or six. Right, so along here, this is five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it sees five, seven, and eight. So this is the six. So this is the five, this is the six, which makes this the eight and this the five, which makes this the seven and this the eight. Um, this is now the one. So this is the six, this is the one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five minutes, 51. And I needed to do it in six minutes, 30. So I only just made it, um, probably scanning because I'm terrible at it. Um, fun puzzle. Thank you very much, and I will be back with tomorrow's. And now the puzzle for the 28th of January 2024, called Expert in a Dying Field by Bill Murphy. Uh, here's the message that came with it. Damn, I know it's a mem, but like, it's the last day of school holidays in Australia, and first day back to school nerves definitely don't get any better, even at age 32. Speaking of being able to draw parallel points between your life and, uh, like, Speaking of being able to draw parallels between points of your life like dots on a temporal grid, today's das gas is a palindrome Sudoku. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a reverse a reverse able re reverse able reverse able uh, Rahiolosaurus, and then those two words done backwards, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. It's for someone else. Um, so palindrome Sudoku. So. Um, let me go to letter mode. What that means is along any of these lines, if this was a B and this was a D, this would have to be a B so that the letters would read the same in either direction. So BDB or BDB, whichever way you read them. Come out of the letter tool. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So how is this going to work? Well, in box five, I can see three and seven have to be here. Um, and one and nine have to be here by Sudoku. Now, these are all the odd digits. So these are even, these are two, four, six, and eight. Um, this reflects to here, which can't be two or four. So this is not two or four. So this is six or eight. This reflects to here. So this can't be six or eight. So this can't be six or eight. So this is two or four. I've also got all of the even digits, uh, odd digits in the column. So these are two, four, six, or eight. So this reflects to here. So this can't be four four or eight, so this is two or six. This reflects to here, so this can't be two or six, so this is four or eight. Oh, this reflects to here, so this can't be two or six. This is four, eight. This is four, eight. Whoops, this is four, eight. So that's a four, eight pair. This is a six. This is a six. So there's no six here or here. That's two, four, eight. So this is six and this is six taking six out of, oh, hang on, four, eight, and six. This is two. So this is two, taking two out of here. So two is in one of those two. Oh, hang on, this two means this is four. So this is four. So this is eight, and this is eight, and this is four, and this is four, and this is eight, and this is two. That's really cool. Has that done anything? Well, it means that all of these are odd because all of those are even digits. So this is odd and it's not one, three or seven. So this is five or nine. These are odd and they're not one. Are they, oh no, they're not one, three or seven. This is five or nine. So this is three, seven. And the three makes that seven and that three. Oh, and this nine means that those are five and these are nine. Can I do the same down here? Yes, because these, well, the nine makes this one and this nine. And over here, these are now one, two, these are three and seven. So this is one and five. 
that reflects to there, that reflects to there. So these are one and five. This seven makes this three and this seven. This one makes these five and these one. So one is in one of those two, but it can't be there because that would reflect to there. That's the one. This is even. So it's, it, well, it can't be two or six, so it's four or eight because it sees one, three, five, seven, and nine. What's this quadruple? One, two, three, five, eight, nine. Well, there's no eight there. That reflects to there. Well, that can't be three, five, or nine. So those are eight, and there's no eight in those. So this is three, five, or nine, and it can't be nine. So these, this is three or five. That's a three, five, nine triple. So what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So two, four, six. There's no six there. There's no two there. There's no four there. No, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, nine. Well, there's no three or nine there. That's the two. Two comes out of those, but the two makes that four, which makes that six and that two. This pair, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is six and this is seven. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, eight, and nine. Well, there's no nine in either of those two. So this is the nine, this is the three, this is the five, which makes this the five, which takes five out of both of those. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, but the two eight is resolved by the eight already in row one. These are one, two, one, and four, which is resolved, one and four. This is a triple now. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, and eight, which reflects to there, which can't be seven. So that's not seven. This is two or eight, and it's not eight. Those are both two because of that eight. So two comes out of those. This is the seven, this is the eight, because there's already an eight. So, oh, the three, that's the nine. This is an invisible three. That's been there for ages. This is now four, because I just put an eight in the column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is an eight. This column is one, two, three. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which I can resolve, five and four. These are one, two, three, four, five, one and six, which I can use the six to resolve, one and six. This row, well, that's this is just the five by palindrome. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's a nine. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, one and seven. And I use that one to make that the seven and that the one, which makes that the three and that the seven. The three looks down making that the nine and that the three. Six minutes and five seconds. I needed to do it in seven minutes. So I did make it. Cool. That was the odd even at the start was really cool. I did find the lines contrast way too high. Um, I would have preferred it if the lines were maybe a little thicker and a little paler so that um, they weren't messing with pencil mark contrast. Um, anyone with any form of stigmatism or any form of um, visual problems, diagonal lines just blur for me. And that includes the strokes on sevens and on fours and everything. Um, just it's why small pencil marks for me are a problem and why I look at a Sudoku grid. It's why my scanning is so bad. A Sudoku grid for me is like this big or I can't read the small pencil marks on it. And why when the grid is made smaller because of everything, uh, because the, there's so much stuff outside of a grid, I just can't read it. So, um, 
it's just a problem. And while my glasses will sometimes help, the, the corrective stuff for it is a problem. I'm okay at a distance, but it, it, this is a computer screen. Um, and I've got methods for helping with that. And I use a screen reader and everything, but a lot of software breaks screen readers and it, it's just a mess for me. Um, there are ways of coping with it, but um, I don't want to start resetting gas puzzles. <laughs> that That's not what I want to do. Thanks everyone. Um, yeah, I'll see you for tomorrow's puzzle. Okay, um, so now it's for me, now for me to do the puzzle from the 29th of January 2024, which is called Half a Cake by Philip Newman. Before I get on to even reading the message, I want to say this is my second attempt at this puzzle. Um, I did try and record it earlier, um, and I was unable to solve this puzzle in what I would call a reasonable time. Um... So what I've decided to do is rather than have a video where I literally just mess around for on the grid for way too long, um, I've decided to re-record and try and demonstrate what I could find and hopefully do better this time. Um, I do not feel this is a genuinely approachable Sudoku by any stretch. Philip does warn about that in his message, so um, it's not as if this puzzle didn't come with a warning that it was harder than normal. Um, so that's all fine. Um, yeah, it, I... I just struggled with this one, even though it's a rule set that I'm quite familiar with. Um, here's the message that came with it. Today is my half birthday, so I thought it'd be funny to make a ratio pair Sudoku. Then I had a dumb idea for a gimmick, um, and it resulted in the puzzle maybe being a bit tricky. So I was going to save it for a leak. Then last night I had a headache and realized I have no backlog, and you're getting it anyway. Welcome to Gas 101. Then there were some hints about the ratio dots constraint. Now, I've covered a lot of those on my channel, and I will go through this puzzle um, while I'm solving it and go through the hints. If you get a dinosaur today, and I noticed there were less people posting in the Sudoku discussion forum than normal. Lots of people posting that they got two hat times. I'm not even aiming for a time today. Um, but if you get a dinosaur today, you can ominous, uh, ominous uh, Oceanosaurus. Um, and now I'm switching to the puzzle. So half a cake by Philip Newman. The rules are normal Sudoku rules and cells separated by a black dot must be in a two to one ratio. Now, there's a few things about ratio dots. Now, the first thing is one side of a dot must be low and the other side must be even because a doubling of a dot, one will double to two, two will double to four, three will double to six, four will double to eight. Um, once you hit five doubling to 10, you've left the range of Sudoku digits. So you'll notice there that on one side, the digit was low, one, two, three, four. And on the other side, because you're doubling, it was even two, four, six, eight. Um, and and you'll notice that three and six in that were basically, they would only pair with each other. So three, six can only pair with each other. So if you've got a run of more than two dots that see each other, they cannot be three, six. They must be from one to two, two to four, four to eight. So one, two, four, eight. That's an important set of um, constraints in any um, ratio um, ratio dots or ratio pairs puzzle. And the reason it's ratio pairs in this puzzle is because two cells that are separated by a dot, uh, that aren't separated by a dot may be, um, may have, um, may be in a one to two ratio, uh, ratio. Now, the other thing, of course, is five, seven, and nine, which are both high and odd, cannot be um, on a black dot at all. So I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Um, and let, I mean, not that I'm going to worry too much about the time. Let's give this a shot. Now, we do know that this can't be a one and it has to be from one, two, four, eight. So this is two, four, eight. We know the four is in the middle. So this is a two and an eight. Now this can't be one, two, four, eight. So it's three, six, and these become five, seven, and nine. Now, we also have the 248 down here. So this is the 4 and this is the 28. This is all stuff that I found very quickly. Um, this 3 means because these have to be 3, 6, this is 6, this is 3, and this is 6. Now this has to be from 248. Sorry, 1248. <laughs> the one is over here, not down here. So this is from 1248, but you can only put 24 in the middle. And the same is true with any run of three black dots. You can only put 24 in the middle, and anything touching that has to be from 1248. So this also, all of these have to be from 1248. Now, 
on a black dot like this, you must use a two and a four. One, two, four, two, four, eight. And so I cannot use a two or a four down here. So I can't use one, two, I can't use two, four, I can't use four, eight. This is from three, six. So anything touching a three, six is a three, six. So these are all three, six. This is a two and a four, and these are from one, two, four, eight. Now, um, three, six here, three, six here means these are three and six. This gives me a three, six in a column and a one, two, four, eight in the column. So these are from five, seven, nine. I can't put seven there. Now I can't put five there. Now, um, this is about where I got to in not much longer than this originally. And I am still stuck. Um, <laughs> not sure where to go. Now, there must be a two, and uh, I know I did get further because I did. There must be a two, four on here, so there's no two, four here. So this is a one or an eight. And once there's a one, eight, this is either one, two, four, or eight, four, two. So this can't be one or eight. So this is also two, four. So I cannot use two, four on this. So this is three, six. And this three makes this six, which makes this three, which makes this six, which makes this three, which makes this six, which makes this three. That's cool. Now, uh, these are one, two, these are five, seven, and nine for exactly the same reason because um, they're what's left in the column. That's not a nine, that's not a five. Now, this is stuff I found very quickly last time, and I really not sure. Now, there's a one eight here, so this uh, I wish I remembered what I needed to do. Now, there's a four here, so there's no four here. If that's not four, that can't be eight. Now, if that can't be eight, this can't go eight, four, so that can't be two. If that can't be two, that can't be one. Ah, oh, there's no four there either. So this is two or eight. So that can't be eight because that can't be four. And if this is one or four, this can't be two, so this can't be... Yeah, if, if this was four, what would that be? It'd have to be two or eight. So this is two, which means this is a one, four pair. And if this is... If this can't be two, this can't be one. So this is a two, eight pair, giving me a two, eight pair in this row. So eight can't be in any of those, and eight is there. This is not how I solved this last time. As I said, I have solved this before. I am fully acknowledging this. But it wasn't like this. I've also got a 2 8 pair in that row. This 2 looks up making this the 8, which makes this the 2. So these. Uh, one, two, four, eight. These are five, seven, and nine. So that's a five, seven, nine triple. Three in this box is there. Eight comes out of there. So this is one, two, four, and it can't be two or four. This is one, so this is not one. That's two, four. So this isn't two, four. This is a one, eight. So this can't be one or eight. This is two or four, giving me a two, four pair. This can't be two or four. So this is either one, two, four, eight, or eight, four, two, one. Those are different. Sorry, I just got a phone call, which I had to cancel because I don't want the phone call. Um, So five is in one of those two, and five is in one of those two. Five is in one of those two, but five is in one of those by Sudoku. So that's not the five, that's the five. That's not a five, five is in one of those two. So that's not a five. Five is in one of those two. That's a seven, nine pair. 
Can I narrow this down? I feel I should be able to. Sixes in one of those two. I'm missing something. I feel I did better last time. I, I... And this is going to be my problem, is every time I look at this puzzle, I'm going to have these completely different... And I think I'm almost at the hat time. <laughs> And that's having solved the puzzle before. I've got to put eight in here. I'm stumped again. Two is in one of those. Is it this? I can't even... I shouldn't have left it a couple of hours before trying again. I may have even made a mistake. This puzzle just broke me. Three is in one of those two. Three is in one of those three. That's not it. I, and this is the problem I have with this puzzle. Every time I do... I mean, um, it's not every time I do this puzzle because I haven't done this puzzle. This is only the second time I've looked at it. But I, I've hit puzzles like this before when, when I look at them... So one is in one of those three. Oh, uh, here we go. Where's one in this box? One is in one of those. So this is the four. So that doesn't change this. But that makes this the one. So this is the two. So this is the eight. So this is the two. So this is the eight. This one makes this the eight, so this is the four, so this is the two, so this is the one. The eight makes this the four. This isn't four or eight, so this is one or two. So this is either one, two, four. This can't be the one anymore. This is, well, actually, what am I talking about? So this is the problem. You get flustered. You, one, two, four, or two, four, eight. The four makes that the two, so this is one, two, four. There's no one there or there. This is the one. What are these? These are five, seven, and eight. Well, there's no eight there, so that's a five, seven pair. That's the eight. The seven makes that the five, so that's the seven. So that's the nine, that's the five. Taking the five out of there, putting the five there. Taking the five out of there, put, make, putting the five there. I'm just trying to demonstrate the, the puzzle as much as I can. The four looks down, making that the two and that the four. So this is the one. This is three or six, and the three looks down, making that the six, that the three, that the six, that the three. These are triples. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. There's no six in any of those, so that's the six. The eight looks up, making that the nine and that the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, seven, and nine. There's no nine in either of those. That's the nine. Not sure how to resolve the two, seven yet. So this is two, seven, because I need to put a nine in this row. That's the nine. So that's the seven, that's the two, that's the seven, that's the two. One, two, three, this is a four. The seven looks down, making this the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a seven, eight there, so that's the six. The eight makes that the seven and that the eight. Uh, this is five and seven. 
I believe. This row, one, two, three. This row is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, and nine. Great. This row, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one and nine. So these are one, well, this is the seven. One, two, three, one, and four. So we've got four, one. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's no seven here or here. Ah, the seven looks down making this five and seven. The five looks up making this nine. So this is the five. This is the seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 11 minutes, 28. Don't even care about the time. This puzzle I found incredibly tricky. And as I said, that 1128 is after my after I actually attempted this puzzle about two hours ago. Now, I did, I actually didn't finish the puzzle two hours ago. I actually stopped after a time that was longer than 11.28, um, but I had found a few of the key deductions. Um, but I realized I was just way over the time and I didn't want to inflict that on anyone. This, if you... If you can spot it, this is this is this is an okay puzzle. I think this is a fine puzzle. I just, as Philip warned in his message, I don't think this is. And I'm not angry at Philip. I mean, he said that he was planning on doing another puzzle. He just ran out of backlog, and that's fine. Um, I mean, if I'd been in Philip's shoes, I would have potentially reached out to one of the other setters and said, "Do you have something?" Because. I don't think this is a great fit for the genuinely approachable Sudoku because since I've released the videos, I've had people come to me and saying um, on several of the puzzles that they've struggled with, it's like, because um, I've got people who have found Sudoku through my channel, YouTube recommendations, people who have um, I've met through board gaming who've got into puzzles through my channel. And they said, you've released these videos called Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and I found them kind of cool. But why is this puzzle a genuinely approachable Sudoku? Why are you labeling them? It's like, do not use the puzzles as a limit of difficulty. That's the name of the series. Because while they will be on the easier side, some of them aren't. <laughs> these are not puzzles designed for beginners. Um, that is not their purpose. Um, these are puzzles that seem to be designed for people who are experts to speed solve. That's what they're for. Um, they are approachable for experts. They are not for beginners. And they that's a different mindset. And this puzzle is, as I said, not angry at Philip. It is very much a, this, but yeah, this is, um, this is a tricky one. And uh, very excellent. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I think this is a brilliant puzzle. But when you come to the gas puzzles, you come to them with a particular mindset. Um, and that mindset is a little different. Um, and uh, part of me is thinking I need to change that mindset. And I just need to approach these as regular puzzles. Um, yeah, I'm very tempted to try and, and turn off the clock on my puzzles. Thanks everyone for watching the video. As always, check out the Genuinely Approachable Sudoku YouTube channel and their homepage. Um, Lucian Puzzles, I think it is, um, has been doing some amazing stuff over on the Lucian Puzzles channel, which you can find through the um, Genuinely Approachable Sudoku homepage. Go check that out. Subscribe to Lucian Puzzles YouTube channel. It is really good. I've been having a lot of fun watching Lucian Puzzles solves, uh, solve puzzles. So... Um, yeah, go have a look at that one. That one's really good. Um, thanks everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.